Hey there guys, this is Sam and Justin at Survival Review and today we're going to be talking about a movie that is kind of related to the next movie we're going to talk about. In a we, way. We had a video, how long ago was it, like two years ago? Three. Three years ago. That was our top five for each of us. Mm -hmm. uh, movies that we always watch around Halloween time. Yeah. And these are our movies that we always watch around yeah. Halloween. These are our, these number, are our ones. number ones. So my number one that we're talking about today is The Monster Squad. Yeah. I watch this movie around Halloween time every year. Mm -hmm. I have for a really <laughs> long time. Um, it's, it's just a really fun movie. Yeah, it's not a very well-known movie. Not really. It's and not one that like everyone talks about that much. No, but it's really entertaining. It is. Um, it mm -hmm. kind of follows like... It, it's kind of like Goonies. I, I was about to say, yeah. it's Goonies meets the Universal Monster. Exactly. That's pretty much what it is. A group of kids have to fight Dracula, Frankenstein... The Wolfman, The Mummy, and Gilman. Yeah. It's so much fun. It's cheesy, but so enjoyable. <laughs> it enjoyable. really is. Yeah. The characters are all just full of cliches. Yes. It's seriously full of just so many cliches. So you got the fat kid, yep. who they even call fat kid. <laughs> Fat kid, what other kind of light is there during the day? The cool kid who wears his leather jacket and he's got sunglasses who, and... Who don't, like, what grade is that kid? Yeah, I, we... <laughs> he's smoking and yeah. like but I don't it know. It makes no sense why you would even hang out with these kids, but he does. He does. It's he's really just there for the cliche. Yes, because we need to have that cool kid in the movie. Exactly. And they have their little clubhouse yeah. with monster stuff on the walls, and yeah, they're just a group of you know kids who get into mischief yeah and they happen to get involved with these monsters they happen to hit the stop monsters so the movie starts off a hundred years in the past yeah. so it's like 1880s or something and it starts out with van helsing like in his final stand with dracula mm -hmm. and he has this girl reading off these whatever like passages passages from, from some book to send dracula off into the nether realm or whatever mm -hmm. and um it says something like they blew it. So something, yeah, that's, they did that's something the opening wrong. scroll of the movie. That's how you can tell like the tone of this movie. Exactly. It has this just like epic like scroll about like Van Helsing's last stand against Dracula. Then another word kind of pops up, and they blew it. <laughs> they blew it. <laughs> um, so obviously, what they did didn't work. Mm -hmm. And a hundred years later, to the day, yes, it happens. Dracula comes back, and he brings Frankenstein yeah. and, and all these monsters with him. <laughs> What makes this movie really good, aside from just being like a fun, enjoyable movie, is just the fact that it's awesome seeing all these monsters in the movie. In fact, I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, and this is the only movie outside of the Universal films where the Gill Man is in it. Yeah. But the character doesn't get a whole lot of love, like, basically. It's true. He's really kind of underutilized. Yeah. Um, there's yeah. not really a remake. Of Creature there? from Black Lagoon. No, um, there's only, and there's only three movies in that series. So it's cool seeing him in that, especially in a more contemporary setting. It's really interesting seeing that character. And the effects are really good. Yeah, the effects are very good. The, the yeah. Wolfman transformations are really, like... Yeah, this is supposed to be, like, a kid's movie, yeah. but it definitely has some moments that are, <laughs> yeah. like... This wasn't for the, kids. The werewolf transformations aren't as elaborate as you've seen something like American Werewolf in London. Yeah. But they, it, they're effective. They they're are. They're still really good and they're really fun. And there's even a good moment like, at the end of the movie, which you don't see in werewolf movies, where the wolfman gets blown up. Yeah. And then he just pieces himself back together. Yeah, because the way they explain it is they talk about earlier on in the movie what can kill a werewolf, and they say a silver bullet, and they couldn't come up with anything else. Okay, so what's the other way? What? Second way to kill a werewolf. Um, car crash? Accident with power tools? Old age? But they, they thought, well, exploding the werewolf must kill him, but obviously it doesn't because... Because he just comes back together, and that's a really cool concept that you don't see in werewolf movies, yeah. so I really like that. There definitely are some pretty interesting, like, concepts yeah. in this movie. And, pl and it plays with all, like, the classic cliches, including Jackie using the name Alucard, and all that stuff. It just yeah. it plays with that, and that makes it a lot of fun. There's even good build-up to the monsters. Yes, there we is. We have the scene where they're at the museum, and, like, the mummies disappear. They're like, what? what? Problem is, 2,000-year-old dead guys do not get up and walk away by themselves. What could possibly happen to a mummy? If yeah. we just walk away, and there's yeah. the mummy walking away. Yeah, so yeah, there's, there's good build-up to the monsters and stuff like that. It's just it's a fun movie with these monsters, and mm -hmm. that's what makes it cool. I mean, granted... Uh, I like all the monsters in the movie. 
Dracula, he's okay. Yeah, Dracula could definitely have been better. Yeah. The actor was kind of hammy. And there is no one to stop me! He had some good moments. So. Yeah. The, the one badass moment where he's walking down the streets, and all the cops are after him, he just like knocks them all out. That, yeah, because awesome. they can't do anything to him. Yeah. But after that, all the monsters are great in the movie. And all the makeup and stuff all look really good. Yeah. So. And um, Frankenstein, the Frankenstein's monster is kind of different from the other monsters in the mm -hmm. sense that he's kind of the good guy. He's actually a good guy, yeah. So he joins the kids. Yeah. And like the kids befriend him, and it's actually pretty. It's pretty yeah. cute. It's like this, yes, this, it actually surprised me. It's it's really weird, like because there's this really like heartfelt moment where like the, the the kids are like walking up a hill, and you see them in silhouette, and the Frankenstein's monster is like he's holding hands with a little girl. Yeah, as they walk out there, and like there's this really like heartbreaking moment at the end of the movie when the little girl is like Frankenstein, don't go, and he's being sucked into the portal. Yeah. It's it's kind of funny, but like it's also <laughs> you, well you do done. buy it. You do. You buy do. It. If you get into the movie, you'll buy that, and it works. Yeah. Now, what's interesting about this movie is that it's it's like a kids movie, but there's a lot of dark and <laughs> moments that just you would not expect in a kids movie. No, at all. there's definitely some dark moments, some like inappropriate things yes. that like you wouldn't think would be in a kids yes. movie. Yes. There's a whole um, scene where they need somebody to read the passage from the book, and they need to find a virgin. So there's a bunch of stuff like that, talk like yeah. that in the movie. Look, what's your brother is so delicately attempting to inquire is the degree to which you may have or have not, at some point in time, been dorked. Even the violence is like, you definitely wouldn't have it. If this movie was made today, it would not have a lot yeah, of violence. Yeah, it would be, if this movie was made today, it'd be really toned down. Yeah. Just because it's about kids. There'd probably be, like, nothing offensive at all in it. Give me the amulet, you bitch! Yeah. Fat Kid would probably <laughs> not be called Fat Kid. Probably not. Or what, his name My is My name Horace. is Horace. My name is Horace! It really is just such a fun movie. It though. is. Um, there's it's a reason I always watch it every yeah. year. It is a great movie to watch around Halloween Town because of the fact that it uses all these monsters. And even though it might not utilize, like, the Gill Man to, like, a, to its full extent, it still utilizes them well enough. Yeah. And it's great to see all these monsters come together in the movie, because they don't really do monster, like, mashup movies, aside from the ones from the 40s. Yeah. There's not really any in modern day, unless they count, like, the Van Helsing movie with uh, Hugh Jackman, but that, that's a piece of crap. So yeah. this is something that's entertaining, that does something different with the monsters, since it's about these kids going after him. It's just, it's a fun film. Take him in the dark! Take him in the dark! It's a damn dark! Go in, go in! Ah! Wolfman's got nard! I like it for nostalgic reasons, mm -hmm. but also just because it is a solid movie. Yeah, I, I don't actually have any nostalgia for this movie, because yeah. I only first saw it a few years ago, but I still like it. Yeah. And it's a great movie. It's, it's a fun, I mean, it's, the movie goes by really fast. Yeah, it is a short movie, but... It's a, and, it's a fun and it, watch. Like, it goes quick, because yeah. there's just a lot going on. But there's never a, a dull moment. Yeah. It, it really just is fun through and through. Yeah. Out of 10, I thought about it, and I have to give it an 8.5. I think any higher would be letting my nostalgia go through a little too much, because the movie does have its flaws. It's not a perfect movie, mm -hmm. but I definitely think it is a really, really good movie. I'd go 8 out of eight. 10. Solid 8. I mean, it has its flaws, like we said, Dracula definitely yeah. was not great. Um, at, at least to me, I just found it kind of weird, like, the way the movie is set. Because in the movie, like, Dracula and Frankenstein, they're all characters from movies. So yeah. it's a little weird that, like, they're, now they're alive. It's like... It is a really weird, like, universe. Yeah. Like, then again, it's not really the point of the movie. Exactly. So. The point of the movie is not to go into deep <laughs> thought about this it. This is not know? a comp complex film. No. It's just a lot of fun. It's just fun. Yeah. So, highly recommended. Mm -hmm. I watch it every year. Um, and next time, we're going to be talking about Justin's movie that he watches yes. every year, which is... The Frighteners. So, that's something to look forward mm -hmm. to. And until then, we'll see you guys then. Focus. Focus.